Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. My name is Majestic Muffin, and welcome back to Fran Bow. Now, I was a little bit uh, puzzled <laughs> the last time I played this because I found out, after a little bit of searching, that I did not finish this puzzle. Otherwise, this light would be green. So, I don't think I did this the right way either. I think we have to do something with this. I, I'm not sure. I think this is a heater. So... I'm assuming you use matches with the heater, because what else are you going to turn it on with? There's no gas. What if I do that? Would that help? Please. <gasps> yes! Okay. Oh. Oh no, I shut it off. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's turn the water- Yes! Oh, thank god. Okay. So I did that right. So does that mean this would be right now? <laughs> if I have the water, I have that right. I took a picture of it and everything. Like, not this, but, um... In the last video, I took a picture of this. And I assumed I got all the chemicals right, but I guess I didn't. Otherwise, that's wrong. Let me just... Take another picture of that. Also, if my audio is wonky, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the first time using my actual microphone again. Um, because lately I've been using my microphone for my headset. Okay, let's go through this again. Um, I'm probably gonna cut this part out since you guys already seen this in the last video. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I had to do. I put the wrong chemical in the first one. It was this and that. And I think I put something else in there. It's finished. It's done. The Yay! <laughs> I forgot the voice I gave him. It's been so long since I've last recorded this. Um, because I had to get a new recording, a uh, screen recorder thing, because I was using PowerPoint in the last one. That's why you guys couldn't hear any of the video game sound. Um, and if my voice is very loud in this video, I'm sorry. I've been testing it. Um, but yeah. I Fran! I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? Uh, no, I'm an independent woman. I think I managed myself quite well too. <laughs> I did all you asked of me. That's all I ask of you. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be seems to be working perfectly. Yeah, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you if you are afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm <coughs> I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you help me get rid of it? Aw, big skeleton man afraid of rabbits. <laughs> a rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. <laughs> it is... I can't speak still. <laughs> is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? That's very descriptive. <laughs> You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. Terrifying. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. Uh, it does sound very scary, sir, definitely. But show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. And we're off. Boop. Enter, thank you. Is it in the room that I couldn't go in? Well, let's go, cat. That one? There! See? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? It's just a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Oh, look how scared he looks! <laughs> Oh, I'm sad now. All right, sir, I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a cute little toy. I swear, if there's some weird twist to this. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? What? Excuse me, sir? What? What? Good, this Excuse me? Okay.
Mr. Man, I'd say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. Too bad. All right, let's see what we can interact with. I've been through too much crap. Oh, I didn't see what she said. Hmm, hello? Are you Edward's other head? I like the hat. Oh, cute little boat. Edward made a paper boat. Those bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. Oh, snatched. I think this is a wrench. It can be useful. Another pencil. There's like a pencil in every room. Green leaves. <laughs> Wait, three, five, two, four. Wait, is this a code? What's this? Oh. Oh, wait. Interactable. Can I? Haha. -ha. Nuts and bolts. I never know which is which. Honestly, same. <laughs> Work? <laughs> it's spazzing out, come on. I don't want to click the exit. No. Ah! Okay. No. <laughs> oh. This looks like a small ventilation swirl. Something's missing. A battery piece? Do I have a battery piece? I do not have a battery piece. Is there a battery piece somewhere? What's that? Mechanical arm. Oh. Okay. What are these? Can I have these? Wait, what? Wait, are these the symbols from uh, Ithursta? I think that's how you pronounce it. I honestly never knew. <laughs> Shank. <laughs> so 3524. Oh. oh, that's neat. Wasn't expecting that. Okie dokie. The battery. There you go, battery placed, and yes, it works. <laughs> Good, what does it do? This? Oh, oh, wait, so I can press that and it'll, yeet. Yeet feet skeet, my guys. Yes, I said that. Oh. I didn't take my pills. Is that, a... are those our parents? Are you? Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Where does that go? Over. Okay. I turned you off. Thank you. Do I, uh, why are my pills still on? Ooh. Um. Water pump? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's interact with things. There's nobody in there. Oh, can I just... Oh. Oh, wait, is this the, where the code comes in? What was it? Um, three, three, five, two, four? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Reset button. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna go back and take a picture of that. <laughs> Was it three, five, two, four? Because I don't. <laughs> I'm slowly sinking to the ground. Um. Okay. These have probably got to mean something. Um.
Okay, I'm taking pictures of them right now. Ooh, I'm very close to my mic. <laughs> I can't get over. Shank! Okay. Hmm. Okay. Three, five, two, four. Or maybe it's four times. Four, two, five, three. Help. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, there was one. Oh. <sighs> Let's go back down. I spotted another card. <laughs> over here. There's one over here. One. That's just one, two, three, four, five. Is that what it is? No. <laughs> Is there anything else? Is that just gonna say green leaves again? Lovely plants. Ooh, wait. Let's take our pills. Oh! Oh, okay. Wait, there's something. Oh, wait, do... what are you wearing? She's wearing a little tutu. That's cute. What do they say in there? Left eight. Left nine. Okay, so those weren't the actual ones then. That's terrifying, that thing in the middle. I don't even want to talk about that. <clears throat> right six. I'm taking pictures of all these as we go. Right eight. Oh, uh, sorry. Could you move, please? It's not very cute, you're right. There's something behind there that I can't see. Move! Okay, well... <laughs> There's arrows pointed. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try that then instead, because the 5-2 thingy thing didn't work. Um, okay, so it was right eight. Ah, okay. Um, there was a five in there, so I added that. Uh, let's try the left eight. Uh, and then there was a right six. And then a left nine. Please be right. Yes! Oh! First try. Yes! Bro, I'm gonna beat at it word up. Why are the lights off? Oh my goodness, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I just jumped. <clears throat> Surprise, Fran. Happy birthday. Excuse me. Excuse me? You put me through all that for my birthday? Oh, a birthday party. Whoa, I, th I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And you just went to the store and bought them? While well, we're in the middle of the air. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Wow, I love the wrapping. Uh, can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. Oh, that's so cute! That's precious! Wow, a, a cat doll! Oh, thank you so much! I love it, it's beautiful! It may give your eyes a new perspective, you know? Like the alter reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is that the alter reality? Is that what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Um, always, please. Yes, please! Look. 
what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra-reality is like an invisible room, where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. That's true. But in the ultra-reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. Encapsulates. I can speak, I promise. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe, I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> oh, that may be the ship going up and down. We might die. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean, we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Oh, how exciting. All right, here I go. That doesn't sound good. Oh no, 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 no. <clears throat> oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Menand, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. It word, what's happening? Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it, fast. How do I do that, sir? Water, that cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. My goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. That doesn't help, but you know, me too. We have to find a Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go! Okay, I assume we have to go. It's locked. There we go, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming we have to go up here, up there, and put that water in our bucket somehow. Uh, click the button, Fran! Okay, um... It won't do- what do you mean? Can I do that? Yes! Oh, okay. Sweet. Let's get down there and kill that Kamala! Go down there, friend. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. He said it's hiding from your eyes, so I assume... Ew, you guys again. Ugh. They give me the heebies and the jeebies. Okay, the Kamala's not in there, so it's probably in here. Ew, 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 ew. You said use the water. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, where are you going? Wait, do I have to fill it up with water again? He took my bucket! My bucket's gone. What do I do now? Wait, where is he? Is he, is he on the roof or something? Ah, run, Fran! Uh, ew, ew, I forgot about that bunny. Okay, uh, lever. Ew, 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 ew. Ha! Stupid. <laughs> you can't run away from me! Oh. One second. Wait. <laughs> Wait one second, Mr. Kamala. You can't run away from me! Oh, stop moving. Wait, why is it? Okay, there we go. Bye! I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best! I should go back to Itward. Yes, we should. That rat is gone. What if I stop? Okay. We did it! Itward, sir, we did it! The Kamala is gone! 
It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. What? No, please don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair! Come here, little kitty. Oh. I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh, don't make me cry. I'm crying in the club right now. Is that the end? Oh wait, is there another cutscene? Or something? And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Oh no. It looks like a little bug. <laughs> Did we die? The end. I don't think that's the end. Oh, that's a very sad ending, Itward. Tell me another story, please. Alright. This is the story of Franbo and me. Oh, look how cute we are. He kind of looks terrifying, but... When she promised never to forget me, or, or about the magic of everything. Oh, <laughs> I promise, Edward, I'll never forget you. Good. Now, it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Oh. Oh, my little heart. My little heart can't take this. <laughs> Chapter 4, Part 2. Doctor's Prescription. Um, I would normally end it right here since it's the part of another chapter, but I'll just wait for a little bit longer because we've only been recording for 20 minutes. It's a deer. Oh, dear me. Oh, it's cute. Edward? Oh, that bike has been through it. Oh, Kitty, are we alive? We survived the crash. Oh, dear, yes. <laughs> we are alive. Crazy how that happens. Hmm. But Edward's gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Frank. I can smell it. If I- Wait, did I just say Frank? <laughs> yes, Frank, we are outside of the town. <laughs> are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that- I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. We stand computer glitches. <laughs> um, you know, I ran out of space on my computer. What's new? Um, uh, so we're back. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see, the bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to me someday. Rest in peace, this bike. I think I already said that, but. Is this Edward's bike or mine? Oh, I don't know, but let's head towards town. Do I have my purse? Is that an option? Which way is home? Oh my goodness. This is our street, Kitty Hay Street. Yes, it is. Okay, so I do have my purse. We have been through a lot. But somehow I feel like this is not the end of it. Is that our house? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Sis, me too. I doubt it'll be unlocked, but yeah. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have a kitty, but I know there's a key hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm. Let's find it. Okay, I'm assuming plants? Ew. Sorry. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh, no key. What is this? A note? It says I took the key signed Fran. Fran, that's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? What? Oh. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. <laughs> you already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note, but I don't remember writing it. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me, please. Oh, all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Yes, climb. He's so cute. They just wait. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. 
Excuse me. Oh, wait, that- Fran, I can't believe this, you're alive, where were you? Get away from- Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now, how did you escape? Yeah, none of your business. That's none of your business, leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and he went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open that door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me. Now. Ah. Oh. Kick him in the nuts. You just tossed me in. Did no one notice that? Did no one see that? This child just got stolen. Oh. That didn't look good, and we don't have our pills anymore. I know you guys can't see me, but I am flipping him off. Can I click on anything? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum. Good. Because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Uh, Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart. Those names are great. Were found earlier this week murdered. Yep. Uh, this The investigating police officer, uh, Marco Homa, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which could cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and weren't able to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucy's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. No, we didn't. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran. She was found in the woods, froze to death. She ran away from home about fi after finding her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bo, Fran is now free from all pain. Uh, no, we are not free from all pain. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I found- when I looked at- <laughs> When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatine were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatine creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatine is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I, I mean, I am a bit confused, yes, but that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? <laughs> I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. You should not say that, hon. You will be thrown directly back into that asylum. Ultra reality? That must be the consequence of the consequences of the duotine. Nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. Yes, Fran, always the optimist. I mean that you are imagining things. That's all. Ah. Uh. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Okay. <laughs> I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. What the f oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my gosh, is our mind getting wonky from all the drugs we've taken? Oh my goodness. Then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. Oh my gosh, is that why you're wearing long sleeves all the time? But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's a big black monster. Remore. He took my parents and now he hunts me and he wants me dead. Oh, I wish I could stay in a thirst with Palantris and the Great Wizard. He probably thinks we are on so many drugs besides the duotine. We need to stop talking. <laughs> 
What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Itward, please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Athirsta. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? Uh, the girls that were attached to each other? Duh. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sold them together. Nice. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. <gasps> we is that why we saw them in the well? Oh, yes, it's all coming together. Maybe this is the last chapter. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to that asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. <laughs> following the rules? Well, not tonight. I wish I had a more variety of voice so I could voice act better. The car is so cute. A cemetery. Here we are. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. No, can I go back inside the car? Wait, I can. Oh, a crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. The gearbox. Wonder if it has a little secret. Yeah, I don't need to read that again. That's literally crazy. Car seats are quite comfortable. Okay, we can leave down. Can we open the- no, okay. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? No, she's made out of stone, Fran. I do that way too often. Ooh. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. We know this, yep. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Mm. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that, if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. That's usually how that works, yeah? Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, but... F and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. What? What? <laughs> Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? <laughs> anyway, we have to find the shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, all right? Yes, the Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. Did they fake my death? Martin Bow, Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, and Fran Bow. Huh? When they came up with a lie like this one, tell me about it. Keep my parents warm. Oh, that's cute. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's stuck. Must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Can I use you? I mean, I assume. What? Oh, that actually worked. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. <laughs> I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tribe? The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right. But right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. I don't want to know why you need it, but okay. That's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. That's understandable. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope we can find the leather. 
Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of le a leather and I'll open the door, all right? Um, I just, I think. She commented on the car. Maybe we can take the car's leather? Like, use our little knife on it. Hope you won't mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where is Dr. Dean? I do not see him at all. Hey, bro. I got leather in. For your mating ritual. <laughs> Ew, the <laughs> wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezellus, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. It sounded like you broke many things. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Okay, he's good. I'm, I'm alright, miss. Yes? Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? Oh. Guessing that's Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Okay. There's nothing in here I can- What? What the- What? Can't dig with a broom. Why not? Okay, we're going to find a shovel, then. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody's down there. Huh. Okay. I still don't know what to do with this. Oh no, we'll probably figure that out later. Oh, hey, you found one. Okay. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. I am like nine. Remember? No. I'm I'm a young child. Oh, I'm scared. Well now now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took it. <laughs> I needed it to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honor of opening the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll open them. Oh, you're making me open it? doing the honors. No, you can do it. Let's start with mine. Oh. Coffins can't be opened up with. I know, because crowbar. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great. <laughs> so they didn't even go to the trouble of finding body double. Hey, mom. Oh, mother. You're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. That's my dad. Oh my goodness. Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. I love that. What do I do now? They're dead. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing. And maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you. Please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. You're just gonna leave this open? What if some dude just walks by in the graveyard and sees that? Let's go. Oh, just hit my mic. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. Uh oh. Okay. Vanish in the hands of darkness. You have, <laughs> you have no manners. How dare you take his face? I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. I don't want him to love you. What? He took my little eyeballs. What? You broken little girl. 
I hate you. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those who you love, in darkness you must wake up. Oh. Wake up now, Frame. Wake up. Oh, that's spooky. <sighs> that was a very short chapter. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> um, oh, that was spooky. I didn't like digging up our dead parents. That wasn't fun. Ah, spoilers. <laughs> um, we'll ad address this whole thing in the next video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like if you liked it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye!